broadly speaking, when we talk about sigma, what we, we're really talking about is uncertainty. So any except scientific measurement or observation comes with some uncertainty. And that uncertainty can be to do with the amount of data you have. So if I want to like know what's the, the average height of, a, of a, a man in the in the UK, if I take two men and I measure their heights, I'm going to get a pretty inaccurate estimate of the average height of all men. If I want to absolute the right answer, I have to go and get all 35 million men and measure all their heights. But the more men we measure, the more precise our, our average value gets. And the uncertainty on that average value gets smaller and smaller. And it's the same if we're measuring the mass of a fundamental particle. The more of these fundamental particles we produce, the more times we measure the mass, the more precise our measurement gets. So you have this sort of statistical uncertainty, which is an expression of how well we think we know this thing within some range, basically. The other side of it, you also have a systematic uncertainty, sort of a much more of a black art, but they're an attempt to express the things you don't understand about your experiment. Do we really know the resolution of our telescope as well as we think? What happens if we make a different assumption? What does that do to our results? So these things come together basically to give us a sort of a range which we say, okay, we think the value is here, but there's this range around that value which it could fall within with a pretty high degree of likelihood. So one sigma, what we call the sort of one sigma band is where basically if you did the experiment a hundred times, 68 times it would fall, the result would fall within that band broadly speaking. So that's what we mean by sigma. And then in, in, in physics, and it, well, I think it began in particle physics and it's now spread to other areas of physics. We have this sort of slightly arbitrary scale of how we define whether a measurement is in tension with say your theoretical prediction. So let's say you have your theory, it could be your standard cosmological model and it predicts some quantity, say the Hubble constant, how fast space is expanding. You go and measure the Hubble constant. Then what you want to do is compare your experimental measurement to your theoretical prediction and you look how many units of uncertainty away are these two observations and if it's within one or two sigma people say oh that's fine that's basically agreement you know that's kind of what you'd expect when it gets to three sigma around three sigma there's a kind of one in a thousand ish chance that you would get two values deviate by that much by random chance, just by dumb luck. So in other words, if you did the experiment a thousand times, only one of them would end up in that much tension just by statistics. So at three sigma people, it's completely arbitrary, but people call that evidence. So when we say we have a three sigma tension, that is the evidence that there may be something interesting going on. 